Good morning. Our opening song is number 432, Be Not Afraid. You shall cross the barren desert, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words in foreign lands, and all will understand. You shall see the face of God and live. Be not afraid. I go before you always. Come, follow me, and I will give you rest. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. As we gather in the name of the Lord, let us call to mind our sins as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord, you came to us as God, uh, and Lord Jesus, you came to us to share with us your divine mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. <coughs> May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. The Holy Spirit says, Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at the rebellion in the day of testing in the desert, where your ancestors tested and tried me and saw my works for 40 years. Because of this, I was provoked with that generation, and I said, they have always been of erring heart, and they do not know my ways. As I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest. Take care, brothers and sisters, that none of you may have an evil and unfaithful heart so as to forsake the living God. Encourage yourselves while daily while it is still today, so that none of you may grow hardened by the deceit of sin. We have become partners of Christ, if only we hold the beginning of the reality firm until the end. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us. For he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your ancestors tempted me. They tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, 
Harden not your hearts. Forty years I was wearied of that generation. I said, this people's heart has gone astray. They do not know my ways. Therefore I swore in my anger, they shall never enter my rest. If today you hear his heart, your heart, not your hearts. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. A leper came to him and kneeling down, begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched the leper, and said to him, I do will it, be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. Then he said to him, see that you tell no one anything, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for yourself, and, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed, that you will be that will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. There must have been a great disturbance in the early church when Hebrews was written that they would go back to the Old Testament to the time of the Passover and take one of the, one of the descriptions of <laughs> that time when the Hebrew people truly desired to have the Lord fulfill every one of their beckons. They did not want to live by the Lord. They wanted to live by their own direction. And so the Lord God says that they truly are a rebellious nation. They are people of hardened hearts. They have turned away from the ways of the Lord. We might say, well, why are they referring back then? And yet history repeats itself. Give us this day, the little booklet has a, I don't know if it's a homily or a statement by Bishop Seitz concerning the wall that the United States built between the United States and, Canada, and, and Mexico but it is not the wall that he brings up. He brings up how we have just not paid attention to any of the needs of the people who come to our borders, whether they be pregnant women, whether they be women with children, whether they are fleeing certain death or just the sense of hopelessness from where they came. 
we are to be one with the Lord, as the writer says, encourage yourselves daily while it is still today. The day of the Lord, the day when being a baptized people, we truly are to take on the needs of one another and to, su and to supply for their needs. It is what Jesus did in our gospel. It is only about a singular person, but he heals them in a way that because he has leprosy, he is able to return to the community. He can go back to his family. He can go back to his job. He can go back to his friends because the leprosy is gone. It is a whole new life. As we encounter different situations within our own lives, May we truly call upon the Lord for his direction, his way of life, so that we may truly live out the gospel way, even though it may at times be a great sacrifice to do so. As we gather, let us offer to the Lord our intentions. We pray for all of those who live in situations of despair, that their brothers and sisters may provide them hope. We pray to the Lord. We pray for um, Bishop Ricken and for Pope Francis, that they may continue to um, enlighten us as to the ways in which we can live out the gospel of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all of those with COVID-19. We pray for their caretakers, that healing may occur. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our government, that it truly may display the actions of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. We pause to add our own intentions in silence. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for all who have died especially for Cliff and Seal Loritz, we pray to the Lord. Loving and gracious God, we place ourselves within your hands. We ask for your guidance, for your strength, for your vision, that we may be a people offering hope to one another. We ask our prayer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Heavenly Father. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For always and everywhere, we give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, will be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we give those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. Let us offer one another a socially distant sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. And may we pray for our seminarian, Michael uh, Janzakowski, and for vocations of priesthood, religious life, diaconate, <laughs> and marriage and from Prince Peace Parish. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we pray the prayer to St. Joseph. Good St. Joseph, as you led the Holy Family, watch over our families. Help our family and all families to know and share God's love. In our family relationships, may we find healing and seek to be holy. May our fathers help us to become faithful disciples of Jesus who share our love for him. As foster father of Jesus, watch over all who serve as spiritual fathers. In a special way, bless our Holy Father, our bishop, and our priests. May they follow your humble example and their fatherly care for the people of God, the church. With Mary, you raise Jesus, the high priest. You know our need for priests. Please raise up good and holy priests from our families to serve the people of our diocese. May our children and grandchildren hear and say yes to the call of Jesus just as you and Mary did. Good St. Joseph, pray for us. And we pray the prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May we go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Our closing song, 432. If you pass through raging waters in the sea, you shall not drown. If you walk amid the burning flames, you shall not be harmed. If you stand before the power of hell and death is at your side, know that I am with you through it all. Be not afraid, I go before you always come, follow me, and I will give you rest.